Hey guys, welcome back. So, I am back at this door. Apparently it was only about 10 rooms in. I don't know if that's the same thing it was before. But, I'm back at this door and I'm pretty sure that the puppet guy is gonna be behind it. Um, I'm still not entirely sure how I'm gonna get past it. All I know is that I need to not face away from it. Um, somehow, except that if I stare at it too long, apparently it'll still disappear and kill me. I have not found another way to go, so I'm hoping to double check and see if maybe there was another door that I missed in here. Um, I don't know. Let's check it out. Ah, there is a door that I missed there. There's two doors. And apparently he cannot spawn from a door that I'm looking at. Now I just have to find the door. Uh... Right there. Is there a door here? Oh, great. Now I have to do this path backwards. That's always good. Uh, shit. Where does this path go? Uh, shit. Oh, damn it. This is the wrong path. Okay. exactly easy to do. I'm just gonna put that out there. Walking through this path backwards is, uh... And I'm not really sure how much I could afford to, like, turn around to look and see if I'm going the right way. This is frustrating. heard and I'd prefer to keep walking. Can I hopefully avoid more of these rooms while I'm trying to run away from this thing? That would be great. That would be awesome. Alright. I don't know if I need to keep looking. Oh, yes I do. not need to make it to the elevator like this. Uh, this way. Uh, maybe. This way. Um, this way? I don't even know. Uh, maybe? I don't know if I'm going the right way. No, I'm not. I'm going the wrong way. Shit. Nope. Stay there. I didn't get much of a warning. I thought I was supposed to get like a clicking sound. Can I even run backwards? Damn it. This is not... Oh, god damn it. Can I say this is exhausting? No, go away. You're not supposed to come through stuff that I'm looking at. Stop it. Stop following me. Oh. No, what the hell? Lies. Bullshit. I call bullshit. I can't always be looking in some direction that he may or may not come from. Oh. 
Okay. This is stressful. I hate that thing already. I hate it more than the other things. Because apparently he's just magical and can walk through everything. I mean, everything else should be too, I suppose, but... Everything else hasn't tried to kill me just like that without me being able to turn around and face forward. sort of making me dizzy. So that happened. That puppet guy is really annoying and it turns out that it's a lot harder to do these rooms backwards than it would seem. Plus it's kind of, yeah, it's not working for me. The whole having to go backwards is kind of making me dizzy. Anyway, so after enough tries uh, and enough dying, I decided to give up for a while. Not to worry. I did finally continue. You can see the video playing behind me right now is actually my last attempt, which I did finally make it through this puppet guy. Let's go ahead and check it out.
So here the whole time I was thinking, if I could just make it through room 350, like, I'll be safe. I'll find something, some break, some save point, some something. That is clearly not the case, as you can see behind me. Um, so unfortunately I had to keep going, and uh, let's go and check out what I found for the next 50 rooms. So, we made it. There's an elevator, there's a save point, we're good. Hopefully that means I don't have to see this puppet guy again. Maybe he stays on his own floor, I don't know. I can only hope because I really can't play this game backwards. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try to keep going. If the trend continues, I'm expecting that there won't be another save point or an elevator for at least another hundred rooms. So. I'm going to go ahead and put that into a separate video, provided that I don't die endlessly from some other new monster that I haven't seen yet. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time.